My collection is growing, man. <laughs> Hey everyone, quick note that if you want to skip to some parts of the video, I've placed some timestamps below. But if you want to watch the whole thing, thank you and I hope you enjoy the show. So my friend started me with my Copic collection. I met Ashi and she gave me her uh, pastel collection of Copics and some black ones and stuff. And then I also met Dot in uh, Sakimi-chan's Kimikon last year. Two years ago? Probably two years ago. And he also gave me the rest of his coping markers and I am so thankful for these people. But at the same time, I hate them because they gave me the gateway drug to coping markers. Anyway, hunting copics here in the Philippines, it's kind of difficult, especially if you want a good price for it. The most prime one and easily accessible would probably be Art Bar. Unfortunately, because it is in the Art Bar, it starts to be really really pricey. A single marker will cost you 350 pesos. The sets are like up to 20,000 if you get the 72 one, which honestly at this rate, especially for beginners, it gets a bit. So there are other alternatives to get these markers from. Try Artillery PH, though I do not recommend it especially if you're based in Metro Manila because their shop is located in Bacolod. So it's very far and in order for you to get your order, it's probably going to take two to three weeks before it gets here. If you're stationed near Bacolod City or somewhere uh, in the south area, that's, that's the place you should get your markers from. But if you're in Manila, around the Taft area, there's one called Great Toys Online. Uh, they used to have a main store, but I think nowadays they just deal on Viber and personal transactions. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, the owner of that store is a little bit busy. So there's a little bit of delay when you're trying to order stuff from them. But it's still pretty good, especially if you're living around the Taft area. The one that I'm dealing with right now is called Crown Supply. And apparently, they are the main distributor of Copic markers here in the Philippines. And I think they're the ones distributing to Art Bar too, right? I'm thinking so. I I'm checking their Facebook and apparently that's the case. Get it from the supplier. Randomly, I was actually going to use Great Toys Online as my main store to buy from. And then suddenly, before I can even make the transaction, somebody PM'd me and like, hey, we have all of those markers in our catalog. Do you want to <laughs> do you want to order from us instead? I'm like, mm, sounds sketchy, yo. I mean, is that right? <laughs> but apparently it turned out to be legit. I tried it out. And the person, um, their name was Elvira, the one that was dealing with me, was pretty great. Like, I even had like issues and stuff and I had a lot of questions, but they fixed it quite well. And I'm all up for it. At the same time, they have a 40% off discount on all Copic stuff. All of it. Multiliners, refillable inks, the markers, the, the brush tips, whatever. 40% off. So honestly, it's a gig deal. <laughs> I really recommend a lot of these stores. It's just really depending on your location. Aside from that, another store that I forgot to mention was Jolly's, which is actually located in UST. And it's the main art store for the UST architecture students and all that. So they have a lot of art supplies, including Copic markers. Since it's a pandemic, do not forget to sanitize everything, including your work surface.
Now all the prep work is done for my markers, it's time for a new art piece. So this is my lovable muse. Her character is really pretty, and it's the last of our trio drawings from the game we play called Terra Online. What I had in mind is that her character is like the catalyst between my character and another friend of ours. So she needs to have such a nice presence, you know, like presence and a cute vibe to it as well. Knowing my style, which is a little bit more rugged-ish and realistic and all that, this is probably a really big challenge for me. After thinking about a lot of poses, I decided on this one in particular. Pro tip, I definitely recommend if you're able to, if you're able to, to at least draw your stuff digitally so you can practice without wasting your art materials, especially something like markers because it's so expensive. Now that that's all done, it's time to transfer it on my sketchbook of choice, which is the Stillman and Burn Delta. So I don't have those fancy things called a light pad where it lights up and you can trace over your drawing. So I need to manually eyeball and do it and transfer it. I do have one arriving soon and I have a dedicated art piece I was saving for just for that video. So guys, if you don't want to miss it, click subscribe, smash that notification bell for more art vids, tech and DIY stuff. I promise, it's worthwhile. Unfortunately, just because you sketch and plan everything right doesn't mean that it's gonna be smooth sailing, y'all. It's gonna be full of pain. Basically, don't stick yourself to your plan, don't stick yourself to your first iteration, and you know, sketch over, explore, and maybe it'll improve the overall drawing. Also, using unorthodox tools like a new masking tape roll for circles totally an option. Next is make sure that you use liners that are Copic proof, smudge proof, everything proof, life proof. So I use the Copic brands. Microns will work as well. Be careful when using microns. It's better to leave them to dry for a little bit longer. Now, I am a scared person and I hate wasting art supplies, especially when they cost so much money. Such a luxury to have stuff like Copic markers. So I want to treat them well. And to help with that, I had to swatch. So I got my notebook of crazy ideas and roughly shaped off my character. Because of this, you can actually experiment a lot more with tones and markers and layering that will give you the best result without, you know, overlaying and overlaying and overlaying a lot of ink. When you swatch it around and you have a lot of stuff, make sure you label them before you lose that marker to the pile that you're probably gonna have later. Also another tip is it's great to organize. I usually take off all materials that I use from their storages that I use for a project and then I store them in another tinier container. So it's kind of like I'm limiting myself to this palette that I've already planned on. With that out of the way, let's have a coloring montage. I ran of C4 ink. I blame this piece before that's completely gray. Good lord. Move your art before you refill markers. Back to coloring.
Just when you think you're done with your artwork, doesn't mean you're actually done. We need to make it look pretty. My collection of Copic markers is pretty much just gonna keep on growing and growing until I probably collect them all. Also, don't forget that just because a lot of artists are raving about Copic markers, me included, there are always alternatives to these markers. Right off the bat, Shin Hand Touch is pretty great. Chameleon markers are always on sale. Winsor & Newton Pro markers are always uh, available and are cheaper than this. And I wanted to try like Western brands like Ohuhu markers. Unfortunately, they're not available here. Anyway, that's it for now. See you on the next video. Cheers. Like they were telling me that, oh, we don't have swat. We don't have the skin color packs anymore because Jollies bought them. I'm like, Jollies? <laughs> Click subscribe.